In 1964, Don Laughlin took a flight in a small plane above the Colorado River, where the borders of Nevada, Arizona, and California converged. Impressed by the scenery below, Laughlin proposed a playful idea, saying, why not glide over the river's serene waters and give those fishermen in their boats a good startle? Laughter erupted among the other passengers, appreciating the funny suggestion and the potential for amusement. Let's give them a good buzz, he declared. Perhaps someone can even toss an apple their way as we pass by. That day, no apples were thrown from the plane cruising at a low altitude, but it planted a high-flying idea firmly in Laughlin's thoughts. Laughlin, a prosperous business owner hailing from Las Vegas, envisioned tremendous potential for a new venture along the Colorado River's coastline. Thus, a gambling haven was conceived. Let's rewind the clock a bit. In the 1940s, South Point emerged as a modest town near the southern edge of Nevada. At that time, amenities were scarce, with only a motel, a bar, and vast stretches of brown desert by the crystal clear blue expanse of the mighty Colorado River. On Saturday nights, this spot served as the gathering place for numerous miners employed in the adjacent gold and silver mines, creating an ideal setting for socializing. In the 1940s, a multitude of construction workers embarked on the construction of Davis Dam, situated just north of the current Bullhead City. They established a community known as Davis Camp which continues to exist and serves as a campground for enthusiasts of river activities. During their limited leisure time, these workers frequented South Point for adult entertainment, contributing to the growth and prosperity of the small town. In 1951, the dam's construction was finalized, prompting the departure of construction workers. There was a speculation that numerous miners who were regulars at South Point stopped visiting the bar it is rumored that their spouses opted to prioritize saving gold and silver nuggets over consuming the family's earnings. Similar to a withered Joshua tree, the town began to dry up under the scorching desert sun. It was at this point that Don Laughlin embarked on his renowned flight over Lake Mojave, the reservoir formed by Davis Dam, and glided along the Colorado River, passing over South Point. After acquiring the land, Laughlin erected the Riverside Resort Motel and Casino, sparking a resurgence in business. Despite the modest count of 12 slot machines and two live gaming tables at the resort, life was once again pulsating in the southern region of Nevada. With the increasing influx of employees and guests, the necessity for a post office arose quickly. Initially, Laughlin envisioned naming the town Riverside and Casino. However, the postmaster disagreed, stating, Nope, let's call it Laughlin. That is a good Irish name. Given that the postmaster shared Irish heritage, both men reached a consensus on naming the town Laughlin. In 1964, South Point underwent an official transformation and adopted the name Laughlin, Nevada. Subsequently, additional casinos emerged, such as the Bobcat Club, now the site of the Golden Nugget, and the Monte Carlo both opening their doors in 1968. For those who cherished activities like fishing, water skiing, boating, or simply relishing the company of sandy beaches and hotel pools under the warm sun, Laughlin became the preferred destination. Laughlin became a central hub, however, transforming it into a metropolis posed a major challenge. Bullhead City, situated directly across the Colorado River from Laughlin, experienced growth attributed to the construction of the Davis Dam. In contrast to South Point, which had dwindled, Bullhead City not only sustained itself, but also continued to expand. The city enjoyed proximity to the Lake Mojave, the water-based attractions of the Colorado River, extensive dirt trails connecting various destinations, such as the vibrant ghost town of Oatman, and numerous other recreational opportunities. Situated along Highway 95 and in close proximity to Route 66, the town attracted a growing number of visitors each year. Despite the lack of a direct route from Bullhead City to Laughlin across the river, Don Laughlin recognized the significant business potential being overlooked due to the residents and tourists frequenting Bullhead City. Don Laughlin purchased a huge parking lot 
across the river from his riverside resort in Bullhead City and started free boat shuttles to his resort. He stated, if I offer it, they will come. This was ingenious. What person does not like a free boat ride? Laughlin's business witnessed a remarkable surge as tourists, instead of enduring long drives, could effortlessly embark on a complimentary pontoon ride across a nearby river, swiftly arriving at the Riverside Resort. In the 1980s, the town attracted additional investors, leading to the establishment of notable venues such as the Colorado Hotel, Harris del Rio, and the Tropicana Resort. Subsequent developments included the Aquarius Casino Resort, the Edgewater Casino Resort, and others. Among the iconic establishments, the Colorado Bell stood out, designed as a hotel and casino, resembling a vintage Mississippi riverboat. In 1987, Laughlin made the decision to construct a bridge to the north of his resort, spanning the Colorado River from Bullhead City, with almost 30,000 vehicles crossing the bridge every day. In 1988, plans were unveiled for the Emerald Resort, a mega resort set to become the largest in Southern Nevada. Unfortunately, the project faced setbacks when the collapse of the junk bond market in 1990 resulted in the unfinished construction of its inaugural tower. Consequently, only the resort's golf course became operational, serving guests from 1991 to 2005. Meanwhile, in 1990, the Flamingo Hilton, which is currently recognized as the Aquarius, was successfully constructed. Laughlin ranks as the third most frequented casino and resort hub in the state, following Las Vegas and Reno. It stands among the top five choices for American RV enthusiasts. Along the casino corridor, there are more than two dozen dining and beverage establishments to explore. Don Laughlin, the proprietor of a resort and the eponymous figure behind a southern Nevada town, transformed into a tourist hotspot, passed away in 2023 at the age of 92. His demise occurred on a Sunday at his penthouse residence within the Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino in Laughlin, as confirmed by Diana Fuchs, the marketing director of the resort on Monday. The cause of his death was determined to be natural. The metropolis he established presently boasts eight casino resorts, attracting nearly two million visitors annually, as reported by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Today, Laughlin isn't merely a collection of gambling spots. Instead, it's a family-friendly destination. The city caters to a diverse range of interests, from luxurious hotels and high-end dining to RV parks and basic camping. From boating and hiking to gambling and international cuisine, visitors can explore guided desert tours, Native American sites, museums, and a myriad of other attractions. There's truly something for everyone in this city.